In Kathopanishad, there is one mantra. Yachet vang manasi prajna tadjache jnana atmani jnana atmani mahati niyachet tadjache shanti atmani. This is the GPS of practice of knowledge. You know, earlier days, when none of these things were there, we used to ask, Hey, where is your house? See, you come to that cinema theater, and then opposite to that cinema, there is a small lane. Go in that lane, take the third turn, and you will reach there. So we take the third turn and we reach a graveyard. But I have come to a graveyard. No, no, no. Which turn you have taken? Left or right? Left. I told you right. See, come out of the graveyard. <laughs> Go there. <laughs> then came the maps. Use the maps and go. Then we used to take the printouts. Left and right, left and right. And then came our GPS. <coughs> so this mantra is a GPS. Now what are the two things required for a GPS? Number one, what is the point of origin? Number two, what is the destination? Two things. And you must have connection also. Your phone should not be dead. And then you also must know how to operate that. These are all the things required for reaching the right destination from where we are. Now this we have heard, understood. So, are we only reading and stopping there? Yes, I understand I am here. The um, uh, Lagoon Hotel and then take the right turn, then take the right turn, then go straight, then take a um, left turn, take the service road, go, turn to the right. Are you doing it? No, I am here only. Come on, you have to go also. Oh. I thought only by reading the GPS, I will read the destination. <laughs> this is our greatness when we study scriptures. See friends, you know one of the most difficult thing which we have to conquer is when we learn something, never try to teach to others. Normally this happens. When we learn something, hear something, we want to tell others. 
you know it is like what it is like when you take the food and you eat it there are two options either you digest assimilate the food or the food is not digested not assimilated now in the first case it will not come out of the mouth because it is assimilated and that person will become strong and full of energy but if the food is taken it is not digested assimilated but it is indigested undigested and it has some kind of poison in that so it will be vomited so undigested food is vomited and digested food is assimilated if this example is clear then digested knowledge is assimilated in one's life indigested knowledge is given as a lecture what i am doing <laughs> See friends, the highest illusion is the illusion of wisdom. We start taking ourselves to be someone extraordinary than others. It is where we go wrong in our life. See, therefore. <clears throat> when this mantra we listen from kathopanishad yachet vang manasi pradnya so vang means speech manasi means in the mind so where are we we are at the speech level See? now here also there is something deep we have to understand we all know that there are four speeches what i am talking to you is called as vaikhari vani vani means speech vaikhari vani what is the vaikhari vani the word and the meaning of the word are separate like phone now this phone doesn't know its name is phone i know so the word phone is in me and the object phone is out of me this experience is called vaikhari vani vaikhari parashruti gochara others can hear in sanskrit the word khara indicates donkey vaikhari vani donkey speech and what is the donkey speech no meaning ho oh, oh, ho oh. <laughs> therefore you must have come across this in your life when somebody talks to us it directly touches our heart when somebody talks to us it makes no difference i know what is talking what is the reason the reason is in vaikhari vani the meaning is not carried along with the words it is a noise see and a noise is meaningless it can't give you any knowledge that to understand this word plus meaning is a very simple example i write on a paper a4 size stone s t o n e make a ball out of that paper and throw at pramila men so she will catch it and why some idiot thrown it to me oh he wants a stone okay he puts a stone in that make another laddu out of it and throws at me it will hurt me when i said it didn't hurt her because the word did not carry the meaning 
and then we complain why my children don't listen to me your words carry no meaning <laughs> They are only noise. <laughs> See, my friends. So, the speech which is operating in the waking state is Vaikari Vani. Then, the second level, subtler level, is called Madhyama Vani, wherein the object and the word indicating the object, both of them are only thoughts. Like we keep on thinking in our own mind. Hey, after uh, this satsang is over, I will have to take the um, car, taxi, I don't know what is arranged. I have to go to the airport. I have to check in the luggage. So it is going on in the mind. So the airport word and airport object, they are only in thoughts and it is not heard by others. This is the subtler level of speech. Now the third level is Pashanti Vani, Vani means speech, Pashanti Vani where the thought and the object indicating the thought are not yet differentiated. To understand this, take a simple example. Take chickpea, so it is very hard, put it in water overnight, next day it will be swollen. It is not yet germinated into the sapling and the root, but it has got all the potentiality to germinate. That state of the speech is called as the Pashanti Vani. And the ultimate is unmanifest speech. That is called the Paravani. Now all these four things, Para, Pashanti, Madhyama and Vaikari, they are various stages of evolution of the chetana into the speech like the seed then the sapling comes then the trunk grows and then it is full of flowers and fruits four stages so where from all of them started from the seed the plant is always that of the seed, not that of the earth. See, ladies will not like this, but this is the truth. There are so many plants here. Do we say, these are the plants of the earth? No. Mango tree, Banyan tree, apple tree. So the trees grow out of the seed, not out of the land. See friends, these are very simple things. So what is the seed? The seed is Shuddha Chaitanya, pure conscious existence. And what is the soil? Soil is the Prakriti. See? Electrical energy, Shuddha Chaitanya. And the bulb is the Prakriti, the matter, the earth. Now the light that we see in the bulb is the light that of the bulb or the electricity. Think. So the electricity itself has manifested as the light. Now what happens? Because there are many bulbs, we think that there are many lights. Light is only one. 
बिकॉज देर आर मेनी बॉडीज आर देर मेनी लाइव लाइफ इज ओनली वन सी वेदर वन बल्ब इज इन द टेम्पल और द अदर बल्ब इज इन द टॉयलेट डज इट मेक एनी डिफरेंस टू द लाइट दिस वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लिव लाइक वेन आई सी द ग्रीन कलर आई डोंट बिकम ग्रीन आई सी द रेड कलर आई डोंट बिकम रेड मीनिंग not getting influenced by anything in this world is our natural state see then how the influence begins so the shuddha chaitanya paramatma expresses in the prakriti as chetana the principle of life now that life starts expression the first expression of the life is the mind the next expression of the mind is the sense organs expression of the sense organs is the objects see this is very subtle be attentive so the individual life in each body is expressing as the mind sense organs objects it is governed by i so i have seen i have not seen i understand i don't understand i like i don't like this is at the individual level the same is at the totality level what we call samashti see now what is samashti samashti is when the students go to the medical college they study anatomy on a dead body and then that student wants to become a uh, surgeon a butcher in short and then in the patient is lying on the um, operation table and then he has to do the surgery so he asks ha ah, what is the patient what is the name what is the thing <laughs> sir this is the patient we have to uh, take care of his kidney this is the problem oh kidney or he or where is the kidney i have forgotten <laughs> will he be able to operate that of person exactly the same way he has not studied the anatomy physiology on an individual basis it is at the totality basis see how simple it is so life is at two levels totality level what we call causal level second is individuality level effect level cause is always unmanifest what is manifest is only the effect when we go to the doctor what we do we tell the effects one lady went to the doctor doctor saab i am very frustrated what happened i don't get sleep at night okay that is the symptom now the doctor has to find out the cause so he will start investigation okay tell me something about you what you do whole day i sleep <laughs> <laughs> complain i don't get sleep at night <laughs> see friends so what we have to understand 
द लाइफ हैज टू बी अंडरस्टूड एट कॉजल लेवल एंड इफेक्ट लेवल फ्रॉम द इफेक्ट वी रीच द कॉज वी आर बोथ एट कॉजल लेवल एज वेल एज इफेक्ट लेवल इन योग शास्त्र इट इज सेड वट इज इन द इंडिविजुअल इज इन द टोटैलिटी It's not different. So the mantra tells, "Ye ched vang manasi pradnya." Withdraw the speech in the mind, and for that I told you these four speeches. Vang speech, withdraw in the mind. See. So what we have to understand. what is the speech speech is manifest by khari and manifest madhyama ready to manifest but not manifest pashanti and manifest is paravani paravani or the mind itself is the speech mind itself is the speech man himself is the son the man himself is the husband the man himself is the father man is at a causal level and the son the husband and the father they are at the effect level see now what sadhana these three miserable entities have to do the son is miserable because of the hitler father the husband is miserable because of the mahakali and the father is miserable because of the rakshasa so what he has to do see wherever whenever whatever you are be 100% so if you are as a son before your father pretend you are listening but don't listen <laughs> don't argue with elderly people this i learned again i told you you are all my gurus this i learned from one driver this happened in himachal pradesh so he was a very nice person before we tell him anything he will say okay okay देखो राम सिंह ओके स्वामी जी हो जाएगा अरे आई डेंट टेल यू एनी थिंग दिस इज हाउ यू शुड डील विथ योर एल्डर्स डोंट आर्ग्यू विथ देम दे विल नेवर अंडरस्टैंड दे आर आउटडेटेड एक्सेप्ट दिस फैक्ट्स ऑफ लाइफ एंड ऑल्सो रिमेंबर वन डे you will be also out <laughs> they will also not listen to you your kids will not listen to you remember this see so if you are in front of your father don't argue remain at peace if you argue what happens the mind is coming out like a bubble gum comes out at the vaikari level and we start shouting mom you don't understand anything keep quiet where from it has come from the mind therefore we told you one simple principle try to think anything without using words reaction is never by the body reaction is by the mind and the first reaction by the mind by the mind is the speech see i love you i hate you i don't like you without you i cannot live is only speech See friends therefore when the upanishad says 
येद्वांग मनसी प्राज्ञ विड्रॉ युअर वैखरी वाणी इंटू मध्यमा वाणी वैखरी वाणी इज मैनिफेस्ट माइंड एंड मध्यमा वाणी इज अनमेनिफेस्ट माइंड इट इज मैनिफेस्ट बट इट इज नॉट सीन बाय अदर्स देर फोर वन ऑफ माई ऑब्जर्वेशन आई एम रॉन्ग और राइट आई डोंट नो इट इज वॉट आई ऑब्जर्व दोज हु आर काम क्वाइट एंड ऑल दैट वेरी डेंजरस पीपल दे गो ऑन इन सर गुर 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 एंड दोज हु टॉक हाउ एंड दे आर फ्रेश See, therefore, when we are at the vaikari level in the world, what should be the sadhana? Ya chid vang manasi pradnya. So when we are in the vaikari level, we see the world. And what is the world? Only two things: name and form. See. So. when we see the names and the forms and we start reacting then the samsara begins see the name and the form no reaction a reaction is always in terms of comments or evaluation it is very nice it is not very good it should have mom no the whole world is created therefore our mahamantra dekho suno mat bolo but we have to talk see and we all know it is not necessary but then you know when the vomition comes you try to hold it <laughs> hey, oh. exactly the same way i know i should not speak but but i i am and all the vomit comes out and the vomit is evaluation comparison suggestion commenting labeling stop on that yache dwang manasi prajna first step this is practice of knowledge now about this i'll tell you one or two examples i have given in my earlier talks also somewhere i was in badrinath many years before i was young that time and finished my darshan in the morning at 4 o'clock badrinath bhagwan narayan bhagwan ki jai and then i came and i was spending time with one old amma she was a great 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 devotee the whole bhagavat mahapuran she knew by heart every day she used to chant one chapter of bhagavat mahapuran before narayana at 4 o'clock in the morning and she was staying there only so i went there and I sat with her and in a relaxed mood so she used to give me tea therefore she was good <laughs> so i told her i said uh, amma i had decided no more lectures enough of lectures so she started laughing why are you laughing when you got jokes i had to laugh is it not <laughs> now what is the joke the joke is who asked you <coughs> did narayana ask you whether you want to give lectures or not no he didn't ask me did i ask you no you didn't ask me then whose question you are answering can there be a higher message than the divine than this from the divine how many times we talk when it is not required See my friends this is living in wisdom 
But we have to wait. I don't think you should do this thing. Why do you think? Another example to make this point. This is just example. I can create examples any number of times, but they are not all real. Some of them are, some of them are not. So I told my friend, I said, hey, don't tell anybody, okay? What? I want to tell you something. Do you know how I became Swami? No. Actually, I ran away from the uh, jail by breaking the jail because I was imprisoned for life on account of murder. Then I was running here and there. And then I found the best abode is a Babaji. So I became a Swami. Hey, but don't tell anybody, okay? No, 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 Swamiji, why tell everybody? I will not tell. He told one person, don't tell anybody, Swamiji, promise me. And I am telling you because you are my friend. It went on and one person came. Swamiji, what people are talking about you? I said, I don't know. They are telling this thing. And the person who told me, he told me, don't tell anybody. <laughs> but it is about you, I have to tell you. <laughs> now, where from he started? Purna Madaha, Purna Vidam, Purna, Purna Madachade. <laughs> learn, learn, learn. <laughs> Therefore, remember this principle. People take it very lightly. Take it with a depth meaning. Do not talk about your past. No need. See, friends, our life is not the life of Ram Krishna Paramahamsa. There is no need to talk. This is what? Yachet Vang Manasi Pradnya. So when we use our Vaikhari Vani to speak, we always talk about either our past or ask other people their past. See, like Indians are typical in that. They want to know about everything. <laughs> Somebody, where are you from? When were you born? But why were you born? And how was it? It was a comfortable delivery? Or you have gone through the um, this uh, cesarean? Will the baby go through cesarean or the mother? Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> Has it any meaning? But we have to learn this. We don't want to know anything about anybody in life. See? Then, Yachet Vang Manasi Pradnya, we are withdrawing the speech, Vaikhariyavani, into the mind. Now be attentive. Where the wave will go? Will the wave go to the sky? No. It will go to the cause. Effect always dissolves in the cause. If there is a mud pot, <clears throat> mud pot is now this mud pot is made out of what? Clay. So when you break the mud pot, where it will go? Back to clay. In the same manner, when we do not unnecessarily talk about ourselves or about others, we are withdrawing without frustration coming at the mind. Then, for us, valuable thing in the world is the mind, not the world. How much care we take, our clothes should be clean, they should not be dirty, there should not be any spot on that, how it should be clean and neat, it should have proper thing. What we have done about our mind? Nothing. Therefore, first step, only this mantra chanting will not help. So, we live in this world, but we have no comments about anything in this world. 
this is about the world now we also have to in uh, also have to live in relation to the people so when we live in relation to the people they are also the same mantra first do not expect anything from anybody in life life is very beautiful how to practice that give up your right we have no right on anybody in this world third it is our need whatever we do or we don't do how important it is and whenever we live this attitude then our relations with the world will not be spoiled take an example when we take it as our need see therefore the other day i told you husband and wife don't stay together because of love love is the most useless word in the whole dictionary see husband and wife stay together only because of mutual understanding not because of love love dries away within a year or two it doesn't last long see now how it can be done see therefore we have to clearly understand we have no right on anybody in this world if we have no right we have no expectation if there is no expectation there is no frustration if there is no frustration you are divine bhagwan is not frustrated by creating this world is happy we are frustrated because of our own kids why that do not you only create suffer see my friends spiritual life is a fun it is not a tension it is not seriousness see so after we have taken this first step that from the worldly objects we come back no comment no evaluation no nothing the worldly relations no expectations and right of your right and like here i have come mama doesn't need me i know very well i need to come here so when i have this clear understanding will i exercise any authority on her no on the contrary i am obliged and if we remain obliged to everybody in this world we cannot fight with anybody but we have that arrogance i have done this boy fight they take sticks in the hand see my friends when these two principles are followed worldly things and worldly relations will no more be an issue for us see nobody can help us we have to work ourselves then the second thing ye chet vang manasi pradne tat ye chet gyan atmani now we go to the next step as we should have control over our speech with the world we also must have control over the speech when we talk to ourselves non stop inside the factory is going on nobody can help us in this and you see we are all fed up of this therefore some people go for the liquid spirituality what happened to whom what they are doing they are arresting the thought formation but the cause is there and what is the cause worry is about the future so the mind expresses as vaikhari vani past 
मध्यमावाड़ी फ्यूचर एज ए रिजल्ट वी आर नॉट इन द प्रेजेंट एंड दोज हु आर नॉट इन द प्रेजेंट दे विल बी ऑलवेज लिविंग ए मेंटल स्टेट एंड अल्टीमेटली दे बिकम मेंटल सी देर फॉर दोज हु कीप ऑन टॉकिंग टू देम सेल्फ ऑल द टाइम You can just easily point out. <laughs> See when people talk on phone, they have to do action. Is it? I know. But I will not do it. Why? So cute. I was thinking. So who is watching you? <laughs> See, exactly the same thing happens when we keep on talking to ourselves. and when we talk to ourselves it is necessarily about the future give it a clear understanding so how it can be stopped then we come to the jnana atmani come to the station of wisdom understand and when you come to this then ask a question to yourself who asked you why you are talking unnecessarily see and when somebody will point us out then we get hurt about this i'll give one example there is one lady now she is a mother of uh, two grown up children college going when she was class 7 class 8 since then i know her therefore she is very close to me one day she um, called me swami ji i want to come and talk to you i was in usa she was also in usa so she came and in the evening we had dinner somewhere and we were walking in the garden she started crying put her head on my thing crying she was carrying maybe seven and half months or so so i said mama don't spoil my clothes okay keep away so i mean you always being joking but i am so miserable i said what happened she told her story my mother came to help me for my delivery for last three months and in this three months what she has done morning begins not with sahasra shirsha purusha sahasra shirsha morning begins with how my brother's wife is bad mm. this is her mother in her daughter in law only one topic one day two day whole day only that right from morning it starts i was fed up so i got so angry i said do you want me to go and kill her you are destroying my peace you go back to india i don't want you here and she went to office and both of them the mother is crying at home and the girl was crying in the office now what we have to learn see when the children talk like this to the parents don't think children are happy to talk like this they suffer see friends to be a grown up person age wise is not a qualification it is a tragedy but we don't understand this thing we get involved in everybody's life we have destroyed our life my friends let them destroy their life no but we want to help them how to destroy <laughs> don't get involved see therefore tat yakshe jnana atmani meaning what now remain uncontaminated and undisturbed because of the world objectively and the relations subjectively see this is the meaning of that mantra yakshe dwang manasi pradnya 
तद्यच्छे ज्ञान आत्मनि इन बीइंग देर आर नो प्रॉब्लम्स इन बिकमिंग देर इज नथिंग बट प्रॉब्लम those who don't have children they suffer i don't know children those who have children they super suffer what god will do we have to learn this no body can help us therefore be in this world only up to this level ni danadar maha mantra draw a line thus far not further in all relations husband wife children in laws out laws draw this much line not further that's it but we go beyond and then we start asserting but is it not my right the moment you start talking about rights you are wrong See, friends, practice of knowledge is not a mechanical thing. Take the mala and then no, 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 no. Live with this wisdom. What will be the next net result? Net result will be we will not be disturbed because of things and beings in this world. The disturbance of things and beings is. called agitated mind and the birth of somebody now the more you observe this we are all miserable as somebody see man is never miserable husband can never be happy because man is he became husband don't become anybody Just be what you are. Then whatever role we have to play, play the role. Don't get lost. As a result, you will always be at peace with yourself. A person who is at peace with himself or herself can alone be at peace with the whole world. to take this point and tell you one story one of my friend with whom i happen to stay and um, when he had a very sweet uh, daughter maybe about 5 uh, years 6 years or so so when we were going i told her i said hey your papa is going out don't you tell him to get something for you yes yes i said there she kept Uh, papa kindly get uh, nice chocolates for me okay okay i'll get you we went out the whole day we spent whatever we had to do and he was so busy tired and we came home and knew he had not purchased the chocolates <laughs> what is it a house where there is no chaos house is that where there is the chaos isn't it so i said what is this house you know nobody is shouting nobody is crying is it a hospital or what mm-hmm. then i thought what to do now so i went to that child i said hey in the morning when we went we told uh, you told your father to get something na what happened okay okay i'll go and ask she went papa you <coughs> bought chocolate for me oh god beta i have forgotten and she coolly went back my plan failed <laughs> i thought she will cry and there will be noise something like that nothing happened <laughs> then i was a failure so i went to learn from her you are all my gurus so i went i said hey when your dad did not bring didn't you get uh, disturb her not? no swami why if he brings then it is a surprise i know him very well he <laughs> says but does nothing <laughs> even the child has understood this thing <laughs> see my friends you don't have to go to any ashram to learn 
Your house is your ashram. Every interaction is your guru mantra. If we are able to learn from that. Therefore, yachet vang manasi prajna. Withdraw your speech in the outer world with reference to things and beings. Then you are undisturbed by the world. So you are undisturbed, but you are not in sleep. Now here is another very important principle. There is one uh, text. These days I am writing on that. Therefore my whole day is with my laptop. After I go from here. And in that book, this is one very good point I like. See? That we do upasana. We do yoga. What for? We do upasana, get up in the morning, take bath, etc. Give bath to the gods, do the puja, do the chant the mantra, do the abhishek and uh, everything. Do it. What for? This I am telling you after having done it for years together. What for? Normally, we do it under two conditions. One, for fulfilling our desires. Second thing, just to keep ourselves in a higher status. We are not like others. In the morning, we do the puja, we do this thing, and then only we take tea or coffee. Holier than though. See? But if this upasana or puja, it is naturally dropped. Then, now, Mind is free from any preoccupation. In that pure mind, inquiry kindles. Who is this Devi? Who is this Ram? Who is Krishna? Who is Lord Shiva? I am only going and pouring the water in all the... I only say he is Krishna, he is Rama. Who is he? Therefore, be attentive. If your questions begin, what, 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 how, 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 you are a samsari. If your question begins, who? Who is doing the sadhana? Who is miserable? Who is angry? See, then our mind has become pure. Bhagavan Shankaracharya says, pure mind is not that mind where there is no likes and dislikes. There is a KG1, KG2. Pure mind is that where inquiry about the self kindles. That is pure mind. See? And therefore, yachet vang manasi pradhyaya tan yachet jnana atmani jnana atmani mahati ni yachet. Then the third step. Individuality must be dissolved in the totality. See, cause and effect is what we are doing. Vaikari Vani dissolved in the mind. The mind dissolved in I. Now that individual I must be dissolved in the total I. Mahati Niyachi. See? When the individual I dissolves in the total I, do we die? See? So simple, it's not difficult. We continue to be because when the effect has dissolved in the cause, who has died? Nobody. And therefore, this mantra tells us if you are really practicing what our Upanishad tells, the real practice of knowledge, never a thought will ever erupt in your mind about your death. See, when the ice dissolves in the waters, 
Does he die? <coughs> when the vision is closed, all objects are removed, will the vision die? When the eyes are closed, will the mind die? Mind is closed, do I die? Tadyachet Jnana Atmani Tadyachet Mahati Atmani. See? So dissolve the individuality in the totality. And when individuality is dissolved in totality, all the problems of small I disappears and the capital I comes. This is practice of knowledge. See? And you know, so simple things. What is the plural of he? They. He is third person. They is third person. What is the plural of thou? You. Thou is second person. You is second person. What is the first person singular, I? What is the plural of I? We, which includes everything. See, my friends, this is the meaning, yachet vang manasi pradnya, tad yachet jnana atmani, jnana atmani mahati ni yachet. If our attention is on the space, it doesn't matter whether it is in the temple or a toilet. But if our attention is on the temple or the toilet, then eh, that is a holy place, that is an unholy place. Nothing happened to the space. And therefore, the real spiritual practice is not becoming extraordinary, remain ordinary. May seva kasacharachara rupa swami bhagavanta. When you live in this world as a servant, you never get insulted in life. See? Mama is my boss. I am her servant. So, who is a boss goes on scolding to the servant. Hey, get water. Lazy. When this is said, will anybody ever feel that the servant is insulted? Nobody will feel that. But if the servant gives back, how much water you want? Are you a tanker or what? Enough. <laughs> if this is said, everybody says, see, he is insulting the boss. Whenever you feel insulted, you have gone the wrong way. Because you think yourself to be some extraordinary. Friends, real spiritual life is not becoming extraordinary. Remain ordinary. Then when you are ordinary, you carry no burden on your head. Relax. How simple spiritual life is. And this can be done only by practicing this knowledge. All other things continue doing. There is nothing wrong in that. But our hold on should be this reality. So, Tadjache Dhyana Atmani, Tadjache Mahati. And then Tadjache Shanti Atmani. And ultimately, we come back to Shanti Atmani. You are at peace with you, like the space is at peace, may anything happen in the space. See? Therefore, if you want to have an ideal in your life, keep the space as an ideal. Everywhere available. 
supports everything, rejects nothing, but doesn't get influenced by anything. In Gita, Bhagavan says, Samoham Sarva Bhuteshu Name Dvesho Sinapriya. I am equanimous to all things and beings. There is nobody dear to me. The nobody is uh, not dear to me. I am equal. Like the space. So whenever you get disturbed, start this. Gagano Pamoham. I am like space. Gagano Pamoham. I am like space. Then one day you will get this click. What? Practice of knowledge itself is living in meditation. Meditation is not an extraordinary effort because you are now 24-7 in meditation. Give it a try. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Namaha Hari Om